Hi. Yes, you. You're a voter, aren't you? You voted in the past elections. But this time, you're feeling fed up. You're feeling lethargic. You are sick of all the politicians. You're sick of the infighting. You just don't care about these elections. Is that you? Could that be you? What about the new newbies? Our 18-year-olds who have just been registered as well automatically. Are you interested in voting? Do you want to vote? Are you going to vote or are you confused? Are you fed up? Is it all too overwhelming? Guess what? Many people feel the way you do. And I get it. Especially those who have been through what happened in the past since uh, after the last elections when we won so handsomely. The opposition won so handsomely. You're wondering whether it's worth it to go out and vote. Well, let me try and persuade you as to why it is absolutely vital to vote in these elections. I know, I know I said this the last time. I said to you, the last elections was the mother of all elections, the most elec important election that we could ever have. And I was not wrong. It was an important election. It changed Malaysia. It showed that when people were interested enough and went out and voted, they could bring change. And of course, after 22 months, PH fell and the Sheraton move happened. And that's why you're all fed up. I get it. I understand why you feel that way. I felt that way for a while. So that election was very important. I, we were not wrong about that. But change takes time. Did you think all our problems would go away with one election? No. It also highlighted the other problems that we had and things that we needed to change, the reform that needed to happen. It opened our eyes, actually. That's what the last elections did. So now I'm telling you, this election is just as important, if not more important, than the last elections. And it is absolutely crucial that each one of you votes. Now, the 18-year-olds who have just been registered automatically, and by the way, it cannot be easier for you. In the old days, we had to go to the post office, make sure we're registered, etc., etc. Now, all you have to do is go to the SPR website and check to see whether you're registered. Because you're automatically registered. Now, it is so easy. How did you feel when you were 18 and you got your first driving license? Excited, right? Well, I was. That's how you should be feeling as a voter now. This is the first time you are going to go out there and make your feelings know, known as to how you want the country to progress. This is your chance. Don't give it up. If, you're, if this still hasn't convinced you that you should go out and vote, and make a difference, and your vote will make a difference, the last elections prove that. But if I still haven't convinced you that you should exercise this valuable right that is given to you by the federal constitution, then let me ask you to consider this. In the last election, the number of overseas voters scrambling to vote, and then organizing themselves to such an extent that they got people to bring, carry their votes and bring it back home. People rushed to the airport to look for, for passengers to Malaysia. They organized and paid for people to fly back votes. This was happening all over the world. That's how interested those people were to make sure their vote counted. Then what about the pacha? You know what pacha is? the polling agents and counting agents. So many people trained so that they could be in the polling stations to ensure that our vote was protected. And then so many others who worked around the clock to make sure the system worked for the people. And this is ordinary Malaysians. I'm not talking about officials. I'm talking about ordinary people who made sure their vote counted. This time, it is happening again. All these people are getting together, making an effort to make sure your vote is safe. So if you're not thinking about yourself and your vote, 
think about them. Think about the effort they are putting in to make sure these elections work for all of us and to make sure that there is a bright future in this country. I mean, why do you think ordinary citizens are working so hard to vote? Why? Because it matters. It matters the kind of government that we have. It matters not just for you. It matters for your children. It matters for your grandchildren. It matters for your parents. So this is my message to you. All we are asking is for you to not be apathetic. Forget the apathy. Forget the lethargy. Forget this feeling that nothing will change. I assure you, every step you take in these elections to cast your vote will make a difference and will bring change. And if you're not going to do it for yourselves, do it for all the others who are trying and working so hard. Do it for them. And with that, I would say, you must know this. It is very difficult for Sheraton Move to happen again because we have the anti-hopping laws. You must know that. So my aim in this video is to get you passionate about our electoral process, about our democracy, about the rights that you are fighting for. Get passionate about that. Get interested and do the very least that you can do as a voter, which is to go out on the 19th of November and cast your vote for a clean, uh, for a responsible and for a competent government. Thank you all very much for listening.